I've got the new spare. I think I'm going to have to rearrange some of the stuff in the back to make it fit, though. How's the replacement antenna coming? Well, look at you, little gearhead. Tell me, did all of that know-how come straight off of Google or just 90%? <laughs> right back at you, Cupcake. Anyway, thank God for the internet or we'd be screwed. I think you just dusted the only vehicle experts for a hundred miles. Did I say it was your fault? I was here too. I know they started it. I'm just saying. I wish they'd let me ask a few questions before they started going for your throat. I get that you smell delicious. Trust me. I really do. But... You were with me. It's just plain rude. Doesn't the dibs rule mean anything anymore? Say what you will, but you don't try to steal someone else's prey unless you're fully willing to deal with the consequences. Hell, for all they know, you could have been my thrall. They were starting it on purpose. I say they got what they deserved. Huh? Wait, do you actually not know the difference? Hmm, fair point. Never really thought about it, but I guess vampire sociology would be pretty tricky to learn without willing vampire participants. I mean, when it comes to biology, you can just strap one of us down and pull out the scalpels, but if I don't want to tell you about the latest trends, there's nothing you can do to make me. So, thralls, or pets, or a few other less respectful names I could mention. Uh, honestly, pet might be the more accurate than thrall, but... Okay, I'm getting out of order. Let me try again. Obviously, we can enthrall people. You know that part already. You've had an abundance of first-hand experience in that department, but... Being a thrall is different from being in thrall. You can use thrall in pretty much any human who hasn't trained against it, and even stubborn little bastards like you can still cave under the right pressure. But you wouldn't call someone your thrall just because you've enthralled them. Hell, thralls don't even have to be enthralled. That's just the entomology. Etymology? Word history. That. Only one of us has access to Google right now, Cupcake. You want me to finish explaining or not? Huh. Point is, enthralling is where the word thrall comes from, but it's not a necessary component. Just a common one. Because a thrall, when you get right down to it, is just a human you like well enough to keep around. And you, of all humans, know that most of you aren't really on board with being a vampire's piece of neck. So, rather than deal with all the whiny, I want to go homes and please let me see my families, some vampires just opt to smooth things over. Yeah, I know it's messed up, thanks. Some vamps get all creepy about that and insist their thralls truly do love them. Whatever. That sure as hell ain't me. If someone loves you, you don't have to mess with their brain to make them stay. I... Uh, no. I, I haven't had any thralls. I'd say I've had a few regular meals, maybe, and a few live-in dinner guests, but no. No thralls. Anyway, I, uh, uh, I've got to put the new tire away. Hey, do you think I should change out your old ones while we're at this? I think the recommendation is to swap them every six years or so. I don't know when you got these. 
I'm not changing the subject. I'm just done answering your question. Jerk move to steal prey. Much bigger jerk move to mess with someone else's thrall. Question answered. Now, can you answer mine? How old are your tires? Oh, wait. Are you actually proactive with vehicle maintenance? <laughs> you didn't strike me as the type. Uh, Wild feels the need to color code your instructions, Cupcake, and I just pulled out a trash bag containing what I remember to be a chainsaw covered in, uh... <laughs> yep, vampire blood. Out of the back of your car? That isn't the hallmark of the world's most organized person. <laughs> See, that makes more sense. Between you thinking ahead for once and a vampire with a spike trap, I know what I would have put my money on. Do we need this chainsaw, by the way? I've never seen you use it. Well, yeah, I can tell it's been used, but when's the last time? It's taking up a lot of space for something you've only used once. Is it even charged? Wait, do you charge a chainsaw, or is it... Oh, nope. It's charged. It's definitely charged. Whatever. There's more junk in here I'm not sure you really need. Like, okay, this one had me scratching my head when I dug through your car. This is just a box of ribbon. Why do you even have this? In case you're struck with the sudden desire to cover your leather jacket and pretty bows? Then we have this. Random piece of wood. A wooden plank. Taking up space in your car. Is, is this to make stakes out of? Okay, here's a thought. Maybe you should have made time to do that. Then you could put them in with the rest of your deadly weapons, and I wouldn't have a four-foot board to play car Tetris with. It's called constructive criticism, Cupcake. If you're allowed to say I should stop eating people, I'm allowed to say you should clean out your car. They're roughly equivalent lifestyle changes. I mean, my end of things would take stupid amounts of self-control and a militaristic dedication to denying myself pleasure that I have no reason to aspire to. And you would have to walk to a trash can every once in a while instead of hoarding things in your car. Huh. Actually, you're right. I'm asking way less of you. Cupcake, I just found an empty bottle of Pepsi Blue back there. This was discontinued in 2004. Look me in the eyes and tell me that sounds normal to you. I'm just saying, the first step is admitting you have a problem. <laughs> I don't know. The rest of the steps are probably something about God. Alcoholics Anonymous is a Christian organization. <laughs> You're hilarious. No, I don't think I'd burst into flames if I attended. Don't even think about it. I'm drawing the line at standing up in an AA meeting and telling the group I'm a homicidal maniac. There's no parallel. I can stop whenever I want. <sighs> okay, screw you. You know what I meant. I don't want to stop killing humans. I've made that pretty damn clear at this point. It's not an addiction. It's just a, a thing that feels very, very good to indulge in. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm hearing it too now. It really doesn't help that I'm feeling fidgety without it. Like I'm, I'm jonesing for a good kill, but uh, you could say that about a bunch of stuff. Are you addicted to sleep just because without it your brain starts breaking down? <laughs> no, 
offing other vampires with you wouldn't help. Didn't help. It, it's not the same. You're never going to get it, okay? You're human. You're an omnivore, for crying out loud. I'm 100% predator. There's a completely different set of instincts rattling around in here. <sighs> yeah, okay, but you could quit hunting if you wanted to. You could move out to the sunny coast and never think about vampires again. Can you honestly say that you feel an urge to kill? Or just a moral obligation to stamp out the undead? That's what I thought. Squeeze the tire in. How's it going up there? Not bad for someone who doesn't actually work here. You ready to take it for a test drive? Or do you need a longer break before you get back behind the wheel? Well, I'd say we could stop for the day, but somehow I doubt that the sudden disappearance of an entire pit crew and the discovery of a dumpster full of bodies will shine well on the strangers who just crashed into town. We should probably at least try to get a few more hours in. Just give me the keys, Hunter. I've been driving longer than you've been alive. I promise I won't crash your baby. Come on. You can't tell me it's been easy to go full nocturnal. You can grab a nap in the passenger side until we get close to town, then I'll wake you up so you can find us a hotel. Great. Here's hoping the radio works. Now, I'll circle the block, and we can always come back if the signal's still crap. Do we need anything else while we're here? Screwdrivers, blowtorch, ooh, some of those fuzzy dice to hang from the rearview mirror? Yeah. I'll stop suggesting we loot places when you stop killing everyone inside them. Yeah, yeah. I doubt we'll trip ass backwards into anything like this again. Seriously, the odds of this happening had to be astronomical. You really do have the worst freaking luck, Cupcake. I have no idea how we managed to find one vampire in the whole damn country who could stomach a gas station stench for more than five minutes. Okay... We don't need to get into who specifically wanted to stop for a blood break and who else is an irresistible snack who keeps luring all the vampires in. Just let's put all the blame squarely on your shoulders and stop equivocating. <laughs> hey, I saw that. No, that was definitely a yawn. Come on, get your fine stretchy neck in the car and take a damn nap already. No wonder you're so freaking cranky. It's clearly past your bedtime. All right, nighty night, Hunter. Let's see if the radio has any lullabies for you. <laughs> 